Good morning, guys. Sorry about that. I'm here to do um, a quick share of a completed junk journal. Um, I will be giving this one away. Um, although I like Halloween, I'm not a big Halloween fan, but I did want to make a Halloween journal. So um, this is the cover. And um, how I made it is I just typed it up in Word and um, put the words on here. This is actually just cardstock. So um, it says Witch's Home Journal, Volume 6, Issue 665, kind of like a, the Ladies Home Journal. Um, and it has little topics that you would find in a magazine on the cover. It's party time. Her name is Davina Blackwood. And it says, In Transylvania with Her Man and Comeback Hopes. Um, Moody Much, Healthy Potions to Get You Feeling Better. Game Changers for Your Proper Spells and Potions. Super Witch Groom Hilda Ghastly, hotter than hot how she does it. Should you be gluten free? I guess witch has got to be gluten free also. And the best and worst places to live for witches. What cities have the hottest warlocks? So I just typed that up in Word um, and stuck it on the cover. And the front cover actually opens and there's a little pocket in the back of it. So I'll go ahead and do, get started. Um, I don't think I over embellished this, so it doesn't have a lot of, a lot of stuff in it. So make sure I'm in frame and I am. So, and this is just using up papers that I already had. So this is a pocket with some journaling spots. This is a download and this is another, uh, download. It says city of horrors office of the corner. A tuck spot this is just cut from a piece of paper um, this is a download also and you can journal in the back of here a pocket with some scrap paper in it you can journal on the back Put that back in there. Um, just some papers that I singe with um, with a match to kind of make them look old and this is a dictionary page. It starts at Witch Elm. Um, and it has witching things on the side over here. I fold it up to create a pocket. And I, this is a tuck spot right here. This is a download. And what I did is I glossy accented the, where it says Witch Doctor, Witch, and Witch Doctor again on the bottom. So, I'm going to put this back. Just some scrap pieces of paper, a bingo card, more paper. And this frame is actually open. You can slide a picture, a note, or something in here. And what I did is it's black cardstock. I used. Um, embossing powders to kind of give it I wanted it to have like that um, old kind of coloring so I think I used copper and like an antique bronze color and this is using the Tim Holtz stencil a paper bag that I folded up I stamped on it and I used a an embossing powder I did not I don't have it out so I'm not sure which one it is so and to create a tuck spot this is a piece you can journal on and just more paper for writing. Another tuck spot with a journaling card. And you can also put things in this pocket right here. Well, in this bag. And on this, the edge right here, I used the um, envelope punch board. Another piece for writing on. this is, what is this? The, oh this is a stamped uh, image that I um, used some the pages are falling apart right here um, what do you call it embossing powder on and this this paper is really old and you can kind of see where it keeps cracking I'm gonna have to tape it again but the edge broke off so I just taped it back on top of it um, the paper has it's just really uh, brittle so 
another place for journaling. journaling this is a tuck spot right here and it's just a doily that I got from Michaels a while ago a tuck spot right here a journaling card this is also a stamp um, another tuck spot these are downloads and this one says electroshock treatment record more plain pages for writing on that came from a poetry book this is just a tuck spot this is a, a Michaels dollar fifty stamp and so are those um, I just stamped them and cut them out and adhered them to the page to create a tuck spot you can journal on the back of here that's just a stamp more places for journaling more scrap paper that's left over sorry guys these the singed edges are falling all over the place so um, this is a download and what I did is I just attached it to some black cardstock because I didn't want the um, binding to uh, cut into the image so I taped it down to create a pocket and this one says city of Orlando office of the corner this is the mortician receipt so you would uh, keep this piece and this goes on the body and that's a download so is that one more places for journaling um, this is a uh, the Tim Holtz die I just used to, cre to create a pocket and this came out of one of his books one of the Tim Holtz paper pads and I just um, glued it to the back of the window frame and then glued it to make a pocket. Another printable, the Electroshock treatment record and it goes up underneath. You create a belly band, just some scrap paper that was left, op left over. It says secret witch spells. So you can write your spells in here. And I just stapled it. Stapled it. There you go. More places for journaling. Another pocket with some scrap paper in it. You can journal on these. A tough spot using a dollar fifty Michael stamp. Another um, mortician receipt. Okay, this is a tuck spot. And these are using the Tim Holtz apothecary bottles, I believe is what they're called. Um, this one says Vanishing Cream. This is Get 'em Girl Cream, Vanishing Cream. And this one says Love Potion. Um, and what I did on this one, I started at number one. I guess each one did not work, so it's love portion number one. Cross that one out until you get to number nine. You can see it. And this is a download. And this is from a paper pad. This is a file folder. More places for writing. This is a small little tough spot right here. And you can clip it closed. Another tuck spot. This is actually a K and, the back of a K and Company uh, sticker. When you buy the stickers, the backing that's in there, that's what this is. The only thing I did was backed it with some paper. Um, this is a download, I believe, and I adhered it to make a tuck spot. This is that same stamp. I just put on some black paper and sprayed some um, just Lindy Stamp Gang spray on there. And these is just to pull apart, and you can write on the back of it. More plain pages for writing. Another pocket. That's that same stamp. This is a download right on the back of there just another 
a sheet from the paper pad. You can write on the back of here. You can actually write on the front in a tuck spot. Another tuck spot. Um, just a ticket that I had. Another The same stamp. Just stamped it on some black paper with some white chalk ink. And I, if you guys saw my other uh, Halloween journal, this is that same paper that's on the cover. More pages, pages for writing. That's glued all the way down. It says magic number, and you fill in the blank potion. Tim Holtz paper. And a, um, just a pocket. So just wanted to make it a little bit interactive. So this is embalming fluid. And it said, don't he look natural? And then when you open it, that's how he looks. Another spot for journaling. That same stamp. This is from the same, that paper pad. I'm not sure which one it is. It looks like uh, Graphic 45. And you could journal on the back of here. It's just backed on some paper. More places for journaling. And the back of the book has an envelope, and I don't believe anything is in here. There is not. And this was just a piece of scrap that was left over. It's from the Lost and Found pad. And that is the book, guys. Witchy Women and your Witch's Home Journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video if you like it. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And have an awesome day. Bye-bye.